Today I'm here to do two things and two things only. Show you how to get the brand new exotic sword, Heart Shadow, and talk about Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'll show you how to get the new exotic sword and how to get the exotic catalyst. Quick, easy video, no sponsor. If you enjoyed today's video, then do me a favor and subscribe, would you? Free to do, and we are dangerously close to half a million, which I'm really happy about. Okay, the exotic sword. I've been working on a dungeon loot table. I'm sure there are others out there probably way better looking than this one, but this one is mine. Also not sure it's 100% correct yet. I know the weapons are definitely correct, but I'm not sure about the armor. Anyway, you'll notice that the hard Heart Shadow Sword can only drop from the boss encounter where you fight the Nightmare of Keitel. Now, I've seen a few people acting a little confused on Twitter. I'm going to try and clear a few things up. The Duality Dungeon is repeatedly farmable, and even if you're doing it over and over and over on one character, you can still unlock new weapon drops in the dungeon loot pool. Meaning that unless you have complete garbage RNG, if you run the dungeon 100 times in one week on one character, odds are pretty good that you're going to unlock every legendary gun in the pool. After reading a lot of comments on both Twitter and Reddit, I'm fairly certain that the ability to unlock new things in the loot pool via farming does include the exotic sword. Again, a fair amount of potentially conflicting info, but I'm going to chalk that up due to bad RNG. I've heard from enough people so far that through repeated farming, even on one character, you do have a chance, albeit a low one, to get the exotic to drop. With that in mind, you should try to get a dungeon boss checkpoint, save and hold it on one character, have your friends join that checkpoint, and wait for you to swap to a different character, you know the routine. Hold checkpoint on character A, and then farm it on character B. Now before you do that, there's one more thing to keep in mind, and maybe even do beforehand. Go ahead and open up the triumphs tab on your character, and to open up the duality seal criteria. There are three triumphs that you can complete, each one giving you slightly better RNG in terms of getting the exotic sword to drop. Solo Thought Stealer requires you to complete all encounters in the duality dungeon solo. Not solo flawless, mind you, just solo. Meaning, yeah, that might be worth it if you're already a fairly good solo player. Master Thought Stealer requires you to beat the dungeon one time on Master Difficulty, which, I am ocean, be too hard with a crack team, and Mind Heist requires you to collect all 12 memories throughout the dungeon. There are already a few guides out there on YouTube showing the location of literally every memory. Find a good one, go give it a watch because out of all three triumphs, that one should probably be the most straightforward. Okay, now that your exotic RNG is a little bit higher, again, get a boss checkpoint, hold onto it on one character, and farm it on another. If you're unfamiliar with how to run the boss checkpoint, go check out my dungeon guide from the other day. It includes a full run where we one phase the boss. I'll link that video down in the pinned comment below. If you're lucky enough to get the exotic sword, good news, the exotic catalyst is a borderline cakewalk. Big shout out, by the way, to at Grim Uwu on Twitter. She took me through the process of doing this. Here's the goal. To get the catalyst, you gotta load up a fresh dungeon run, then find and kill three specific Cabal Nightmares. Each Cabal Nightmare will drop an essence, which you then pick up, deliver to a nearby area, and then dunk. When you've dunked the third and final essence, a chest will appear, and opening that chest will give you the catalyst. Quick heads up, by the way, in order for these nightmares to appear, someone in your fire team needs to actually have the exotic sword and have never unlocked the catalyst before. I know, sounds very weird, but true. I tried to do it the first time with my fire team where two people didn't have the sword and one person did have the sword, but the catalyst already unlocked. And when we did that, none of the nightmares showed up. Then after bringing someone else into the fire team who had the sword, but not the catalyst, Booyah, the nightmare showed up. The first nightmare is in the very first jumping puzzle area of the dungeon, literally tied to the first bell that you shoot. Shoot the bell to get up to the wide open jumping area. Slowly make your way all the way up top. When you're all the way up there where I am right now, look down and shoot that very same original bell. In nightmare land, jump down about one floor to your right into an open door. Kill the nightmare and grab the essence. Then leap out and head up to your right. The dunk location will be behind the second red bell. Here is a full unedited run of the first Nightmare and the Dunk. Enjoy.
The second nightmare is immediately after you beat the first dungeon encounter, aka you kill the nightmare of Galrin. The Cabal nightmare will be way out in the open on the following jumping puzzle area on the opposite wall where you come in. Get the essence and bring it forward through the raid as normal until you get to the giant puzzle area with four statues. Activate the bell in the middle to go to Nightmare World and you can find the dunk location on top of a nearby platform. Here's a full run. The third and final nightmare is directly after beating the second encounter, aka unlocking the vault. Drop down the hole and carry on through the dungeon as you normally would. This one is kind of tricky to explain, so I'll just show you the full run now. After that third dunk, the chest will appear, and whoever has the sword will get the catalyst by opening the chest. You're then going to need to kill 400 enemies with the sword, but that shouldn't be difficult. Again, if you're having difficulty farming Keitel in order to farm the sword, go down into the comment section and check my dungeon guide, which includes a full run. Type yes review please down in the comment section if you want me to do an in-depth review of the sword and catalyst together. Plus, if everybody comments that, it'll be kind of funny because people who don't watch the full video will be confused. Well, funny to me anyway. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.